In a world-leading initiative, a research group led by Takao Somea at the University of Tokyo has developed a material that has high electrical conductivity but can stretch and contract like rubber. The group has used this material to make integrated circuits containing organic transistors. Recently, carbon nanotubes dispersed in polymers have been used to create conductive materials that can stretch and contract. However, carbon nanotubes clump together, and this problem has prevented researchers from obtaining the desired characteristics. Somaya's group solved the clumping problem by dispersing the nanotubes in an ionic liquid before mixing it with a polymer. The resulting material with its uniformly dispersed nanotubes shows hardly any change in electrical conductivity even when stretched up by up to 70%. Here, the fact that electricity is flowing is very important. But I'd also like you to note that the LED's brightness does not change when the material is stretched. This goes against conventional wisdom in material science and signifies that something very special is happening. Somia's group has used this elastic material to make a large integrated circuit and is studying how to incorporate sensors for temperature, pressure, ultrasound and light. Such a large flexible sensor could be attached to the surface of a robot to give the robot a sense of touch similar to that of human skin. The group is also working to create a flexible braille display by building in actuators instead of sensors. People in the automotive industry, for example, are very interested in this technology. If pressure sensors are attached to the steering wheel, the driver's grip force can be monitored. If sensors attached to the driver's seat and seat belt, his or her heart rate, breathing and movements can be monitored. We hope that by using such flexible devices, our electronics technology could be utilized in unseen ways to increase safety and convenience in daily life and sometimes to make life more fun. When people think about applications for flexible transistors, displays immediately come to mind. But attention is focused on how this research could open up a new world of applications entirely different from displays. Digging for news.